for everyone. Okay, so we're gonna start one red spring, foot bar up, we're sitting with our feet flat on the floor to start with, up nice and tall. And from here, just let the shoulders drop away from the ears, lift up through those sit bones and take a breath in. And on the exhale, just gonna drop the head round through the shoulders and just let yourself release and relax over the legs. And let's just stay here for a couple, couple of breaths. So deep breath in and exhale all the way out. And again, deep breath in. Open up the ribs at the back. Exhale, let yourself really relax over those legs. And last one, deep breath in. And on the exhale, draw the tummy in, rolling up one vertebra at a time, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, head reaching to the ceiling. And one more like that, deep breath in. And exhale, drop the head, round through the shoulders, scoop through the tummy, releasing all the way down. And again, deep breath in. Exhale, release. And again, deep breath in, building those ribs out to the back. Exhale, breathing out. Last one, deep breath in. And on the exhale, belly button draws to the spine as you roll up, restacking the spine all the way up. Good, let's just go into mermaid position. So chin up against your shoulder rest, other leg in front. One hand on the foot bar, one hand on the shoulder rest. Up nice and tall. Deep breath in, turn your palm in towards you. On the exhale, press away and squeeze into that waist as you reach away. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, release the arm down. Other arm comes up and a nice stretch over. And release it down. And again, inhale up. Exhale again. Keep that back hip close to the mat and keep that shoulder away from the ear. Inhale, growing tall as you come up. Exhale down. Other arm up and over. Keep this arm nice and long. Don't bend too much through the elbow. You're reaching through the fingers and release down. And again, inhale up. Exhale, press it out. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, down. Last one like that, up and over. Now we're going to add a rotation. So we're going to inhale, float up. Exhale, we're going to press away. Then we're going to stay here. Carriage is going to stay still. Take this arm to the ceiling. On the exhale, you're going to scoop through the tummy and turn the chest to the floor, reaching that arm underneath you. And then inhale, open up and look up to that hand, opening the chest. Exhale, scoop through the tummy as you turn and rotate, carry to staying still. Inhale, lift and open. And one more, exhale, reaching through a little bit further each time. Inhale, open, lift through that chest, bring the carriage all the way back in. Take the hand off the foot bar and reach it over. Good, and let's turn around and face the other way. So, same position, shin up against your shoulder rest, foot in front, again, get both sit bones as close as you can to the, to the mat. And from here, we're gonna inhale, take the hand up, remember, turn your palm in towards you. Exhale, side bend over, reaching through that arm. Inhale, growing tall, exhale, down. Inhale, up and over. And again, inhale, shoulder drops away from the ear. Exhale, squeeze into the waist. Keep that back hip low to the mat. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, down. Other arm up and over. Good, one more like that. Inhale, up. Exhale, reaching over. Getting that nice side flexion. Inhale, lengthening up. Release it down. <clears throat> and all the way over. Now let's add that rotation. So inhale up, exhale, press it away. Now the carriage stays still, take that hand to the ceiling. On the exhale, scoop through the tummy as you reach it through. Inhale, open and lift up to the ceiling. And again, exhale, scoop it through as you reach. Inhale, lengthen up. And last one, exhale, scoop it in. And reach it up. Take the hand down. Coming all the way in, other hand comes up and over and release down. Good. From there, we're going to come up onto our hands and knees. Have your feet against the shoulder rest. Let's, we're going to stay in a red spring. We're going to sit our bum back towards our feet, 
So about one hand width from the bum to the back of the ankle, shoulders down your back, tailbone lengthened out behind you. From here, let's just do a couple of cat stretches. So deep breath in. On the exhale, tuck from the tailbone, scoop through the tummy, release through that upper back and release the head. Deep breath in. Exhale, tailbone slides away, shoulders glide down your back and your head and chest lengthen up. And again, exhale, tucking from the tailbone, flex through the lower back, scoop through the tummy, releasing through that upper back, deep breath in. Exhale, tailbone glides out, shoulders glide down your back, head reaches forward. One more like that. Exhale, tucking and scooping up into hold and exhale, lengthening through that spine. Now staying there, we're gonna inhale, push your feet out behind you, lower the hips towards the mat or the floor, squeeze them into the bum. Exhale, pull up, opening the chest, hips come to the bar, press it away so we're staying in a little bit of extension. Stay there, lift your hips to the ceiling and then tuck and curl all the way back in. So just one repetition of in and out. So let's inhale, on the exhale, lengthen the spine up. Inhale, press your feet away, squeeze your bum to protect that lower back. Exhale, scoop it up, open the chest, press it away, lift the hips, tuck and flex it all the way in. Good, two more. Inhale, exhale, lengthen away. Inhale, press through the feet, squeeze from the bum. Exhale, pull it up. Inhale, reach away. Lift from the hips and flex it all the way in. Last one, inhale and exhale, lengthen out. Inhale, push through the feet. Tighten from the hips. Pull it up. Press it away. Lift the hips and tuck and curl it all the way back in. Good. Okay, so from there, let's turn around, face the ropes. We're going to stay on one right again. I want you to sit with a little bit of space, so one hand width from the back of the mat. I want you to take your legs to the outside of this shoulder dress. Just open those hips up a little bit more. And we're going to take hold of our straps. So, up nice and tall. Remember, just lengthening through the spine, arms down, straight through the elbows, straight from the shoulder, out through the fingertips. And from here, nice and easy to start, we just exhale, pulling straight back. Inhale, release. Keeping those collarbones nice and wide. And remember with this, it's all about maintaining this nice posture as we work through the arms. So exhale, pull back. Inhale, release. As you pull back, just be careful those shoulders don't roll forwards. So always gliding those shoulder blades down and together into the center of your back. Good. And let's go for four. Stay lifted through the sit bones. Three, two, and last one, and release. From there, take the straps up around your elbows. And we're gonna have the elbows at shoulder height, so make sure they're not down here. Push those fingertips to the ceiling, have them shoulder width apart, so not into the center. Shoulder blades are nice and flat on your back. And from here, exhale, we pull back. Inhale, release. So I actually don't want you to feel your shoulder blades moving. They want to stay nice and still on your back. And we're just working into the back of the shoulders to open those arms out. Exhale. All the while, staying up nice and tall. So you should feel those muscles up along the spine, working to maintain you in this nice upright position. Let's go for four. Good. For three. For two, and one, and release. Take those straps back to your hands, and then this time we're gonna have palms to the floor, and out to about 45 degrees. So out about halfway, so have the straps around the little finger side of your hand, and from here we're just gonna exhale, pull straight back, inhale, release. And again, collarbones nice and wide, inhale, release. Exhale, pull. A little bit more work through the shoulders to keep those arms slightly lifted and pulling back and reach and let's go for four for three for two 
Last one. And release. Good. Let's take the straps in front now, like we're hugging a tree. Shoulders down, nice and loose through the arms. We're going to roll back now. So inhale on the exhale, tuck your tailbone under, roll back, push your legs away from you as you pull your hands to your chest. Into hold. Exhale, keep the hands by the chest as you flex up and over those legs, reaching as far as you can. Inhale, restack the spine, release the arms. And again, exhale. Tuck and press those legs away. Into hold. Exhale, flexing over those legs, rounding through that spine. Inhale, lengthen up. And again, exhale, rolling back. Into hold. Exhale, flex through the spine. So scoop the tummy in as you go forward. Inhale, release those arms. Two more. Exhale, pressing the legs away into hold exhale flexing forwards inhale sit up tall last one exhale roll into hold exhale flexing forward and sitting up tall good now this time we're going to add a twist i'm going to shuffle forward if you really feel like i'm coming off the end there so from here, we'll just add the rotation. So exactly the same as we did before. We're going to inhale on the exhale. Let's tuck and roll it back. Stay there. Inhale, hold. Exhale, open the chest, turn the body and reach the arms out to the side, keeping the carriage still. Come back to center. Exhale to the other side. <sighs> inhale back to center and then exhale, flex it all the way forward. Sitting up tall. And again, exhale, tuck. Press those legs away into hold. Exhale, open that chest as you reach the arms back to center. Exhale, feel the movement through the rib cage. Back to center, flex it forward. Inhale, lengthening up. Let's do one more. Exhale, roll away into hold. Exhale again, open that chest back to center and reach. Back to center, flex it forward, and inhale, sit up tall. Good. From there, just to reach around, add a blue spring on for me. And then come back up. We're just going to go into the same rollback position, but we're going to add a bicep curl into it while we're there. So we want to go a little bit heavier, make those arms work a little bit more. So arms out in front this time, palms up. So palms up this way. Good. And from here, we're going to roll back like we just did. Exhale, roll back. Then we're going to pull those hands in towards my shoulders. Stay in there with the body. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, pull it in for one. For two. For three. Keeping that nice body position. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Keep them by your shoulders. Let's flex up and over the legs. Reach the arms all the way forward and lengthen up. Good. Okay, take that blue spring off. Again, we'll stay on the red. And then we're going to shuffle forward. We're going to go into that teaser prep that we did the other week. So you're going to have to shuffle forward so that the back of your thigh, the middle of your thigh is at the, on top of the shoulder rest and your feet are on the headrest. So we'll start with our feet down and we'll see how we're going. So I am in a C-shape here, so remember we're not sitting up tall, I am rolled back slightly. And from here the arms are coming in front, elbows slightly bent. So this is where we're going to roll down and then lie back, extend over the end of the reformer and reach our arms back, okay? So from here we're going to inhale, on the exhale. We're going to tuck, roll, release all the way down, extend over the back of the reformer as I reach my arms over. Then I'm going to bend the elbows as I tuck my chin in and curl up, back up to sitting. So try not to pull on the arms. The ropes will give you a little bit of help coming up, but try not to pull on them too much, okay? Exhale, rolling back. Inhale, reach. Coming in, tucking the chin in, exhale, curl, and lengthen up. Good. And again, exhale, curling back. 
Get that nice extension as you open the chest up over the end of the reformer. Tuck the chin in, bend those elbows, curling up. Let's do one more like that. Exhale, roll it back. And reach. Tucking the chin in, exhale, curling up. Now, if you want to, let's try that with your feet in tabletop. If you don't like tabletop, then you can keep your feet down, okay? Just a little bit harder. So now we're going to kick the legs to tabletop. Same again. So we're going to roll back. Keep the legs in tabletop as you reach up and over. Then we're going to inhale, tuck the chin in. Exhale, curl. A little bit harder to come back up into that balance. And again, exhale, rolling back. And reach. Inhale, chin in. Exhale, scoop through the tummy as you come back up. Let's do two more. Exhale, roll it back. And reach. Inhale, chin in. Exhale, curl up. Good. Last one. Rolling back. And lengthen. Inhale, chin in. And curl up. A little bit harder that last one. Good. And rest the feet down. Okay, so from there, we're going to turn around and we're going to pop our feet into straps. So let's go two breath springs and then we're going to lie down onto your back and pop our feet into the straps. Work through our legs a little bit. Good. So let's find that position with the legs out long that we can get into that neutral spine. We have that little space in the small of your back. Your tailbone feels like a nice heavy paper weight, arms by your side and feet and knees together. So let's just start with our bend and stretch. So let's inhale, bend the knees in, tabletop, exhale, press them away. So we're folding at the hips and knees without letting the lower back collapse. Inhale, pull it in, exhale, push it away. Inhale, fold at the hips and then exhale, think about opening up through the front of the hips. Pull it in and press it away, good. Folding in nice and easy, just getting our hips and knees moving and working. Inhale, pull in, exhale, reach. Inhale and exhale, make sure you keep your ribcage nice and soft. That's always where I struggle. Good, press it away. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, reach, let's do one more like that. Inhale and press it out. Let's rotate those legs out, heels together, toes apart. Feel the work and keeping those legs together and extended in that rotation out. Then we pull the heels in, exhale, squeeze and press them out. So same again, tailbone nice and heavy, just opening up through those hips and knees. Exhale, really squeeze the legs together as you press them out. You wanna feel the bum kick in as you really extend those legs and press them together. Inhale, pull it in and reach. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, good. Let's go for three and two and last one and reach. Now we're going to do what we don't often do. I want you to turn your toes together so that your toes are pointing towards each other, your kneecaps are looking at each other. So we're going to go into this intern rotation. So we're going to inhale, bend the knees in, try to keep your toes together so you're not going to feel like you're going to get very far. And then press it out and push your knees apart. So the knees are going to come together as you bend in. And then you want to separate them and push them out. Imagine you've got a tight elastic band around your knees. And as you press out, you have to really push your knees out into that elastic band. Inhale, bend it in. Exhale. Always feels really awkward with this one. But if we're working the muscles in the rotation out, we've got to keep balance and work the ones in the rotation in. So let's do three, press away for two, and reach, last one, and reach, good, let's bring the feet back together into parallel, so let's just lift and lower to start, so we're going to inhale, fold at the hips, point those toes, get nice length through the back of the leg, squeeze the legs together, press them away from you. Inhale to fold it up again, don't let that lower back collapse, exhale from the glutes, reach the legs away. Inhale, fold it up. And exhale, lengthen 
and reach, keeping that tailbone anchored to the mat. Hold it up, press it away. Two more, lengthen, nice big stretch. Make sure you pull from the bum, not the backs of the knees. Inhale up, last one, press it out. So from here, we're gonna go up into our long spine to start. So we're gonna inhale, float up. Exhale, roll it over. Coming up, take the legs shoulder width apart and rotate them out. When you rotate them out, feel the bum work to tighten. Keep those glutes switched on as you roll it down, articulating through the spine. Go as far as you can and then start to press into your feet. Roll the rest of the spine down and then bring the feet back together at the end. So inhale up. Exhale, roll it over. Inhale, let's take the feet out to the side, rotate them out, feel the bum tighten. Roll it down, keep those glutes switched on. Lengthen down through the spine. Start to press into the feet, continue to roll. And then the legs back together. Three more, inhale up. Exhale, nice articulation through the spine. Inhale, open and rotate out. Exhale, lengthening that tailbone away from your head as you roll down, press it away, feet back together, two more. Inhale up, exhale, reaching up, rotate out, and then lengthen, scoop through the tummy, roll it away, press into those feet, come back together, one more. Inhale up, exhale over, take them out to the side, squeeze from the bum, Kneecaps and toes reaching away from each other. And then back to parallel. So we're gonna go into the more advanced version of this. So this one, if you remember, I'm gonna hinge at the legs to come up to about perpendicular to the floor. Now, without the carriage moving, I'm gonna squeeze my bum and roll my spine up off the mat like I'm sliding my feet up an imaginary wall. Take a breath in at the top. Then I'm gonna exhale, roll down, articulating through the spine and then press the legs away. So the key is that as you press up and come back down, the carriage doesn't move, okay? So let's do that again. So we inhale, fold at the hips. Now we exhale, squeeze from the glutes. It's all about the bum here to roll up, keeping that carriage still. Take a breath in at the top. Exhale again, articulate down, back to neutral, press it away. You should really feel the bum working hard here. Two more. Inhale, up, exhale, tighten. Press the legs together as you reach them up. Inhale at the top, exhale, release it down. And press away, and last one. Inhale, fold. Exhale, scoop through the tummy, tighten the bum. Press, carriage is still. Deep breath in, exhale, rolling down and then press the feet away. Good. And from there, let's just go into turn out. We're just gonna open the hips a little bit. So into our stag, you're gonna pull one heel to your bum as the other leg reaches out to the side, and then reach, squeeze the legs together at the other side. Fold the hips and knees, rotate it out, and press and connect in the center again. So always think of keeping equal tension through the rope. One heel comes to your bum, the other leg reaches out to the side. And as you do that, just make sure that the pelvis doesn't roll from side to side and press it away. And again, let's get that nice stretch through the hips. Inhale to open, exhale back to center. Two more each side and push it away. Good, and reach and really squeeze those heels together back at the center, last one each side. And push, inhale, and exhale. And then from there, let's just stretch the inner thighs out, so float the legs to the ceiling, keep your tailbone down, stay there, carriage stays still, just open those legs nice and wide. Feel that in the inner thighs, bring the legs back together. And again, opening nice and wide. And back together. And press the legs away. Good. Let's take our feet out of the straps.
and we're going to come up into kneeling so we're going to face the uh, ropes again. I want you to stay on two red springs. We're going to work a little bit through the front of the thighs. So with this one, holding on to the ropes themselves. So you want your arms to be out in front, just far enough that you can still keep your shoulders nice and wide, you're not reaching forward, and that you can bring your bum up over your knees. So the key is that we don't have our bum sitting back here. You want to squeeze from the hips Bring that over your knees. Up nice and tall. So we're going to hinge from the knees, keeping our body like a straight line from our knee to our shoulder. I'm going to exhale. On the exhale, I'm going to squeeze my bum as I hinge back from the knees, keeping a nice straight line through the body. Inhale, take the hands up, and then exhale, come back up to nice, nice, tall position. So key things to watch out for, don't extend into the lower back. You don't want to be leaning back. And also make sure the bum doesn't start to sink towards your feet. Okay, so from here, inhale, on the exhale, hinging from the knees. Keep the chest up, keep the hips forward, feel it through the front of your thighs. Inhale, lift your arms, exhale, come up. If you don't feel it a huge amount of the front of your thighs, then you're probably dropping your bum a little bit. Exhale, hinging back. Inhale, lift, exhale, come back up. So remember the arms aren't, we're not pulling, they're just there to give you support. Exhale, hinge. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back to that upright position. Two more like that. Exhale, hinging back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back up. One more like that. Exhale, hinging back from the knees. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back up. So now we're going to go into extension this time with it. Just have a quick look. So we're going to move into the same movement, but then what I want you to do is we're going to hinge back from the knees. Then once you're there, you're going to pull the arms out to the side and lift your chest to the ceiling so that we're going up into this extended position. You want to really think of that high jumper, lifting the chest to the ceiling and going over rather than collapsing into the lower back, okay? But the arms come out to the side like this. So... Same first movement, up nice and tall. So we're gonna inhale, on the exhale, hinge it back first. Now on the inhale, I'm gonna lift through my chest, keep the carriage moving, keep extending. Come back to that long line, and then come all the way up. It's very hard to talk when I'm back there. <laughs> okay, so let's try that again. So exhale, hinge it back. Inhale, open the chest, lift up, squeeze from the hips, lift through the chest. Inhale, come back to your straight line, and then up tall. Good. And again, exhale, hinge it back. Inhale, open and lift up that chest. Keep the carriage moving as you extend. Coming back to that center, and all the way up. One more. Exhale, hinging back. Inhale, lift, open up the chest, lifting it to the ceiling. Come back to that long line and then come all the way forward. Good. From there, just sit into your shallow stretch. So sit back, reach the arms forward, lots of extension there, opening up through the front. Good. Okay, so from there, let's come up. We're gonna stay in kneeling, but we're gonna face forward. And I'm gonna get you to go down to one blue. I'm gonna do a little bit of rotation. So, we're gonna come up, remember, up on our knees, especially on a blue. This is a little bit more wobbly, so just keep your knees about hip width apart, give you a slightly wider base of support. And from here, I'm gonna keep the strap in the hand, then clasp your hands together. And then I want you to bring the hands in front of your chest. So always keeping these hands in front of your chest bone and keep your eyes there, okay? So we don't want to be ended up pulling them over to the side. So from here, we're going to inhale. On the exhale, grow tall as you twist through the body. Inhale, let's come all the way back around to the other side. Exhale, turn. Think of rotating that spine on its axis and then coming all the way back. So being careful not to pull through the arms. We're pulling as we move the trunk 
It's those obliques that are doing the work, the rib cage, you feel the movement coming back, keep those arms nice and soft as you rotate, keeping the hips facing as far forward as you can. So not letting the hip drop back either. Exhale. Inhale, release. Remember, I always think of a corkscrew as we twist. We want to lengthen and grow taller as we twist. Inhale, coming back around. Good. Three more. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back around. Let's go two more. Really working into those obliques. And back and last one. Exhale to turn. Inhale, all the way around. Good. So from there, I'm going to get you to keep the strap in that hand and we're going to go into a side bend. So we're going to have the arm here. I want you to think about squeezing down through the waist here, but not, not collapsing into it, okay? So we're going to lengthen this arm up. So we're going to inhale on the exhale. I want you to reach up as you squeeze down and then coming back down. So think about this doing the work. Exhale, reach and coming back down, good. Exhale to side, and think about sliding that hand towards your knee. Come back down, good. Exhale, reach. And come back down. Let's do four more. Exhale, squeeze into that waist. You wanna feel this working here as well as this shoulder. For three. And down. For two, good, last one, and reach, and all the way down. Good, and then from there, just because I love this one for our rotator cuff, opposite hand, we're going from the hip, low to high, this arm relaxing here, we're going to exhale, drive up, and reach and come back down. So remember, drive up at the elbow and then extend the arm. Keeping our body nice and still this time. Working into that rotator cuff of the shoulder. Exhale up. Inhale down. And reach. And down, good. Lengthen out, so go low to high. Coming across on that diagonal. Good, let's go for four, for three, for two, and last one, reach and press. Good, and let's turn around and face the other way. So, same position, on the knees. And we'll start with our rotation, so taking the strap into your hand and then clasping the hands in front of your chest. Think about hugging a tree, position shoulders down, hands in front of your chest bone. And from here, we're gonna exhale, twist. Inhale, let's come all the way around to the other side. Exhale, keeping our hips square to the front. Rotation coming from the rib cage and the upper back. Exhale not pulling through the arms. Those hands still stay in front of your chest bone. Exhale. And inhale, release. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And pull. Inhale, let's do three more. And pull around, good. And two. And let's do one more. Reach and release good let's take that arm out to the side we're going to into that side bend now so you're going to inhale on the exhale side bend over as i reach over inhale control it back exhale squeeze into the waist inhale come back down and again exhale reach inhale coming back exhale and back in for four release and gone three and two reach into it 
and last one, reach, and over. And then taking the strap in the opposite hand, and from here, go across that diagonal, low to high, we're gonna drive the elbow up, and then reach. Inhale to release, keeping those shoulders nice and square, so we're not rotating now. Keeping the body fully to the front, and just working into those shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, nice and easy. Starts off feeling okay, then it starts to get tougher. Reach. And let's go for four. For three. For two. Last one. And rest that down. Good. Okay. So from there, let's think we'll stay in a blue. And we're going to go into a little bit of abdominals, but we're going to be jumping on the bar. So staying on that light spring. I'm going to lie down. Let's take both feet onto the bar. Shuffle away from your shoulder rest a little bit. And you can take your headrest up a little bit if that helps. Okay, so both your feet on the bar. Then I'm going to get you to take your left leg to tabletop. Okay, we're going to inhale, tuck the chin and exhale, curl the head and shoulders up. Take your hands behind your head. Don't pull on the head. Remember, we're just there to support the neck. And we're going to start to jump. So from here, jumping out. Inhale, come in and land. So we're keeping the left leg in tabletop. We're staying curled up. Getting those shoulder blades off the mat, reach. Nice long straight leg as we're in the air. Pulling the kneecap up towards the hip, pointing the toe. Exhale, reach. Coming into land, stabilizing so we're not jolting up through the pelvis. Good, and reach. Now, can we go into bicycle? So as you come in, you extend the left leg over the bar, then you pull it in. Reach it away, pull it in. Reach it away, pull it in. Good. Reach, good. <laughs> Nearly missed it there. Reach, pull it in. And reach, pull, good. For three. For two. And one, now we're gonna add a twist. So now as you pull in, you twist. Reach it over the bar as you come in, you twist. Lengthen and reach. Lengthen and twist. Lengthen and twist for three, for two, and one, and rest and die. Whew, good, well done. So roll the head side to side, and then we'll switch legs. So left foot on the bar, right leg to tabletop. And then we're going to inhale, tuck the chin in, exhale, curl up, hands behind the head again, supporting the neck. And let's just start with our simple jump, so pressing out, inhale, coming in, reach, nice long straight leg through the left leg now, reach, coming in, and reach, and reach, good, reach. Opening up through the front of the hip, controlling the land. And then let's go into bicycle. So as you come in, extend the leg over the bar. Pull it in. Inhale, reach. Pull. And reach. Pull. And reach. Pull. And reach. And pull. And reach. And pull. Good. And reach. And reach. Let's go get one more and then we're at our twist. So as we jump, we twist. Back to center and reach. Twist. Back to center and reach and twist. Back to center and twist and reach. Good. For four. For three. For two. And one. And rest it down. Good. 
Roll the head side to side, get your breath back. <sighs> well done. Okay, and from there, come over onto your side and let's sit up. And I think we're going to get our platform extenders. We're going to stay on a balloon. I'm going to work our inner thighs a little bit. So, right up against the wood. Remember, stand on the solid bit of the platform first. Then we're going to take one foot either side of the gap. Good. Okay, so quite close in. I'm going to have quite a narrow stance to start. And we're going to start. Remember with this, we want to keep our nice neutral spine, almost sending your tailbone to the floor a little bit, just to engage the abdominals, engage the glutes. So from here, we're going to inhale, press out evenly through both legs and exhale, pull up and in. So the work here is on eccentrically lengthening out and then working on pulling up and in. So inhale, exhale, squeeze it in. As you pull in through the inner thighs, think about pulling in inner thigh, pelvic floor, deep abdominals, like you're trying to squeeze into a tight pair of jeans. So we inhale and then we pull everything up and in. And again, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it up and in. For three. Squeeze it in. For two. Last one. And pull it up and in. Good, we're gonna turn around, face the other way, do the same again. So nice and easy, then we're gonna switch up things a little bit. So. Same again, get that tailbone sent to the floor just a little bit. I don't want you to really flatten your back. I just want you to engage those abdominals to send the tailbone down the pelvic bone up just a little bit. And from there, we inhale, press out, making sure that we don't stick the bum out behind us. And exhale, pull up and in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen out, exhale, pull up and in, good. And reach, exhale up, inhale, reach, good. Feeling that inner thigh working, but feeling the work, a little bit in the bum as well. Three more, exhale up, for two, And last one, and pull it up. Good. So from there, we're going to step off. We're going to stay in a blue. Take your platform extender now to the far end. Take your straps off, and then we're going to place it about halfway, maybe a little bit further, depending how long your legs are. At the end, bring your headrest up as well. This will just help that we're not banging into anything. So, from here, we're gonna take one foot on the platform extender, one foot is hooked around the shoulder rest and have it forward so that your shin's right up against the edge of the shoulder rest. And starting here. So, we're gonna start with just a little bit of a skating movement. Hands behind your back. You're gonna sit your bum back. So our body is angled forward, but we're gonna nice straight spine through here. Then I'm gonna push through one leg as I rotate to the opposite foot the opposite hand, that's it, and then switch, and switch this up, push, pull, push, a bit like a speed skater, and push, 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 three, two, one, and then I want you to bring all the weight over onto this platform extender leg, hands on the knee, still a nice straight spine, keep all the way through here, then we're just going to bend this knee, pull it in, release it out. Pull it in, pull. So that knee's coming forward, and we're stabilizing. Most of the work is happening on this balance leg. I'm stabilizing through there to be able to move this carriage in and out. Exhale, pull it in. Good. For five, four, three, two, one. Release out. Take the weight off that for a second. Then we're going to go into standing up fully up tall. 
So from here, same start position, only now this leg stays straight. I'm going to drive up, so I'm standing up tall. So I want you to exhale, stand up tall, sit it back. So drive from the bum, inhale, sit it back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, squeeze up through the hips. For four, for three, make this leg work. Two, one. Release it out. Good. And stepping off. Good. Let's turn around and face the other way. So same again. One foot on the platform extender. One foot up a hook around the shoulder rest. Shin right up against the shoulder rest. Let's start with our hands behind our back. We're going to sit the bum back. Shoulders down, chest lifted. And then push through one leg, reach your hand to the opposite foot. And reach. And reach. And reach. Pushing through that leg. Push. And push. For three, two, one. Take all the weight on that standing platform leg. Hands on the knee, nice long straight spine. Let's just pull that knee in, release it out. Pull it in. Exhale. Exhale. Keep that stabilizing leg really strong and still. Pull. For five, four, three, two, one, release out, quick break, and then going into our full standing up. So essentially like a single leg squat. Take all the weight on that platform leg again. Now remember, we're driving straight up. So the other leg stays straight, pull up, sitting down. Exhale, drive up. Inhale, sit down, reach, and reach, and reach. Good. Squeeze from the bum for five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing out. Good, and stepping off. Nice and easy. Good, well done. Okay, so from there, take the platform extender off. And we are going to bring the footbar up and we're gonna to go to one red, one blue. So we're gonna stretch out the legs a little bit. Have your back leg to whichever side your red spring is on. Other foot comes up onto the foot bar. That's it. Up nice and tall. If this is too high, tight in your hip, you can lower the foot bar down. Okay? So bring one leg up at the foot bar, one leg against the shoulder. That's good. Up nice and tall. We're just going to stretch out into that front split. So we're going to exhale, press the back leg out behind you. Continue to press it out as you reach through that front leg. Bring the front knee back in underneath you or over the foot and the other leg back in underneath. So back leg presses back. Keep pushing through the back leg as the front leg straightens. Try not to push through the front foot. Coming in, front knee over your foot. Exhale up. And again, remember, go to where it's uncomfortable, not painful. We don't want to push into any pain on the stretch. Front knee comes up and in. And back up. Two more. Press and reach. Coming back in and up. Last one, pressing back and reach. Come back in and up. Good, and switch legs. Switch the red spring over to the side of your back leg again. Front leg comes up on the bar. Up nice and tall through the chest if you can. And then from there again, back leg goes back first, then keep pressing through the back leg as you extend through the front. Front knee comes in, back leg comes up and in. And again, back leg first, and then the front leg. Front knee in, good. And back up. And again, reach. Front knee comes in. 
and up. Let's do two more. Reach it away. Front knee in and up. Last one. Reach and press. Front leg comes in and reach. Bring that down. Just go into your shell stretch again for me. Sit back on your feet. Hands on top of the shoulder rest. Resting there. And then from there, we're going to lie down onto your backs. Let's go two red springs. And we'll just roll it up to finish. So make sure your headrest is back down for this one. Shuffle away from the shoulder rest a little bit. Heels in line with your sit bones. And we're going to roll up into our hip roll. So deep breath in. On the exhale, roll into imprint. Keep tucking your tailbone under as you peel up. Press your knees forward. Open up through the chest. Breath in at the top. Exhale, sinking through the chest bone. Hollow through the tummy. Roll it all the way down. Back to neutral. And again, deep breath in. And exhale, tap it underneath. Peeling up. Reach those knees forward. Deep breath in at the top. Exhale again, lengthening that tailbone as far away from your head as you can. And last one, inhale and exhale, peel it up. And let's stay up here and we're going to press the legs out. So inhale, on the exhale, press them up on, lower those hips down. And then inhale, lift through the hips as you come all the way up and in. Exhale, press it out. And inhale, lift. Last one, exhale, press, inhale, lift, hold it there, take a breath in, and exhale, rolling all the way down. Good. From there, just hold on to the handles behind your shoulder rest. We're going to take the legs to tabletop, feet and knees together, and from here we're going to inhale on the exhale, roll both knees over to the side, keeping your shoulders on the mat, go as far as you feel you can. Inhale, let's pull it back to center. Exhale, over to the other side. Feel that rotation through the back. Inhale, come back. Try to make sure your knees stay the same length. So as you rotate, don't let that top leg get shorter. Keep it in line with the bottom knee. Inhale, back to center. Last one, exhale over. Inhale back to center. From there, take your hands behind the backs of your knees, curl the head and shoulders up, just rock yourself forward and backward, opening up into that spine. Good. Release the feet back to the bar, release the head down. Good. Let's come over onto your side, coming up into standing, and we'll just finish off with rolling down. So knees nice and soft, and from here, inhale. On the exhale, drop the head, round through the shoulders. Let yourself fold all the way forward. Take your hands in front of your feet. Let your head hang nice and loosely between your arms. Let the weight of the body open up through the whole spine as it tractions it out. Take a breath in, and on the exhale, send your tail under the floor. Scoop your tummy in as you roll up. One vertebra at a time, take the arms out to the side, reach to the ceiling, deep breath in, and exhale all the way down. Good, well done everyone.